what's going on everybody welcome back to the Pete perspective my name is Pete and I'm back with another video today we're gonna to be talking about as you can see I've got my Marvel apparel on but we're gonna be talking about WandaVision so I just want to let you guys know that there will be spoilers ahead if you have not seen WandaVision or are still catching up on the episodes I have to warn you spoilers ahead do not go any further and we're gonna get into it let's begin <music> So let's take it straight from the top. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've been digging WandaVision so far. I really love the kind of sitcom feel. And if I'm not mistaken, the first episode, if not all of them, but I think maybe just the first episode was filmed in front of a live audience. And so I think that's really cool. I think it takes a lot of creativity to create things that are old. And it may, be not, like, it may not feel that way, but I think ultimately when you're looking back, and seeing how people did shows and stuff in the past, it's really hard to replicate it and do it in a way that's fresh and that feels relevant to a really big universe like the MCU. My wife and I have been loving the series. There's a lot to jump in on. I mean, the first couple episodes, I don't know if it's normal that they release two episodes at one shot the way they did for this season of WandaVision. In fact, I don't even know if there'll be multiple seasons. I, my guess is that they'll probably just do one single like season. And much like some of the Star Wars series that we're gonna be seeing, they're just one season, um, you know, 10 to 12 episodes and they're done really well. I mean, the budgets for these shows are the same, almost maybe a little less if anything, but pretty much the same budgets for a movie and a film. And so uh, we have a lot to be like excited about when these shows are coming out, right? Like it's not just, oh man, like a PBS show or like something that's coming out on, you know, whatever, TV, like Fox and TNT and all these different, like those are a little bit less of a budget. These are really high budget films and they're produced by the same people that are doing the movies. So that's kind of different. Usually there is a little bit of a shift between TV and movies, right? You see like you hear of TV actors, but you don't necessarily. And then you hear of, like, you know, Hollywood movie actors, A-list, B-list, C-list and all those sorts of things. So this is kind of bleeding and blending everything together in the sense that one, it's not even on TV. It's on, you know, Disney Plus, so a streaming service which is the new, the wave of like what's to come. The other, you know, theory is that all these streaming services are gonna get really annoying. Like one day they're gonna be like, okay, we, t we have an amazing idea, guys. You gotta bear with us, all right? We have an idea. What if you could get all of your favorite channels for like 80 or $100 a month? You could get Disney, you could get Discovery Channel, you could get HBO, you could get you know, a Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, um, Fox, whatever, and you pay a straight fee, and it's gonna be called cable. Wow! But seriously, sometimes I think like, if streaming services go out, right, like wouldn't like the next thing, like if people just got tired of paying all these subscriptions, all these different streaming services, and they wanted one with everything, isn't that just cable? we just sort of back to I mean I my guess is that it would be some reinvention of cable I you know what I want this has nothing to do with WandaVision and I'm totally going down a rabbit hole but I want a TV like a cable sort of setup right so let's say Comcast was like hey you can go on this website and you can select the specific channels that you want and only pay for those channels right like I don't know if that's a thing. If you guys know about that, please comment below. Let me know if that's a thing. If I'm not mistaken, I know that you can get like packages. So you can get like news packages and sports packages, but then you end up paying for things that you might not use. I literally want a checklist of yes, no, yes, yes, no, no. Um, and that would be sick because then you'd pay for exactly what you're gonna use. And so Emily and I, like, we do have things that we like to watch and enjoy watching together but you also don't want a bunch of other channels that are tempting you to watch TV or whatever all the time. So anyways, if that's a thing, please let me know because I might be missing out and this might exist already and I could be living under a rock. So enlighten me. All right, back to WandaVision. We, uh, like I said, 
some of the creativity that has gone into it. Again, always looking through the, the lens of a graphic designer, I'm always looking at just, you know, the storyline, but also just the graphics and the storytelling and all of the different time frames that, that, that Wanda and Vision find themselves in. It's just like awesome because I can envision some of these design teams and production teams and video teams just really getting to nerd out and really studying you know 50s sitcoms six, 60s sitcoms say that three times fast 60s sitcoms 60s sitcoms six i'm gonna say something i don't want to say so i'm gonna stop 70s 80s you know what i mean so so much creativity goes into you know making those things happen i would love to be on the teams that get to go and explore typography from the 50s and explore type typography you know from the 60s and all that sort of stuff i feel like that would be super super fun and super super cool so i have been loving the show the last episode murder it was crazy like i really so when it started i was like oh typical like a disney move we're gonna i kind of guessed the structure of the show it was gonna be you know sitcom style first episode second episode sitcom style where you don't really see what's happening outside of Westview, right? I thought that was gonna happen. And in the third episode, we got a lot of meat and potatoes. Like we got a bunch of backstory, a bunch of like understanding what's happening. And then I was like, okay, that's the third episode. It would have been so Disney-like for them to jump back into just the sitcom and let you sit with that for another week. So when the episode starts off, obviously it starts off in the sitcom sort of aspect, right? Like you're not, really engaging with what's happening outside of Wanda's Westview mind control town. And so I was like, man, I guarantee you that it's gonna be like sitcom, sitcom, what's happening outside of Westview, sitcom, sitcom, what's happening outside of Westview and kind of have that pattern throughout the whole sh season or show. And um, I was wrong because this episode specifically was a blend of the two, whereas like the last episode was more about what's happening outside of Westview and really they stuck to that most of the show. This one started off as you're in the sitcom and you're, you know, it's very normal, but then they jumped back and forth from like what's happening outside of the town and then what's happening in the town. And I like that, it was unexpected. I just really was expecting them to do, do you know, let you hang with just the regular sitcom style of stuff for a week. like. I just feel like that would have made sense for Disney, but they proved me wrong and I'm happy about it. So, I wanna talk about a few things. One, it's for damn sure that Wanda is holding all these people hostage, obviously, right? Like she's just going nuts. She She's not going nuts, she's grieving. And it's funny, I talked to my wife about this last week when the episode ends and I was like, man, she, and obviously this episode clarified what I had theorized in the last episode but she's going through so much agony and she's in so much pain that my prediction actually was that vision was fake like vision was actually part of her vision if you notice in the show this is gonna be kind of crazy but the show is called Wanda vision right and I'll get back to what I was saying but the show is called Wanda vision at face value it seems like it's just about Wanda and vision right Wanda vision that makes sense but the whole show is based off of a sitcom that she is creating, right? So it's her vision of what her life should be. So not the character of Vision, but Wanda's vision of what her life should be. That's one. But also a sitcom. What is a sitcom viewed on? A TV. What does TV stand for? Television. Wanda Vision. It is about the fact that it is her show that she's making it. So all along, what's mind blowing to me is that all along, you know, even before the show even started, they told you exactly what was happening in that title. They told you exactly what the show is about. It is Wanda's vision and it is Wanda vision, not Wanda and vision, but Wanda vision as instead of television, it's Wanda vision. Wanda vision. Let me know if that makes sense. It makes sense to me, but it's kind of like profound if you think about it. All that to say, she's definitely holding all those people hostage and you know, she's in so much grief when last last week, going back to what I said originally or was talking about before I, you know, went south. I was predicting that she's in so much pain, right? And I thought one I thought vision was fake 
and that it was just like a projection of her mind but then in this next in the latest episode you kind of realize she actually went and got his body parts so what does that mean was she able to put him back together we don't know right they didn't clarify that specifically this vision that we see inside of westview could either be a real vision where she was able to somehow put vision back together to some extent and we see that one moment where she looks back and when she's with the babies and she looks back and vision is just like he looks like he did when thano ripped the stone out of his head and so that could actually be how vision is operating inside of westview not through the lens of Wanda. He actually could have the stone ripped out. His body, maybe she found a way to put his body back together, but he's not, he's in this half dead, half sort of alive form where the stone is ripped out, but maybe he's still alive. Or maybe he's just completely dead. And the vision that we see inside of Westview is completely manufactured. And the only way for her to keep her dream and her vision alive, both figuratively and literally, is to keep him inside of Westview, right? Like, I just, I don't know, man. Like when I see her looking in his eyes and it, it honestly, it makes me emotional. It's kind of nerdy, but um, I'm not wiping a tear. I had a piece of dust there and I said that at the perfect time. <laughs> right. I resonate with Wanda when I see her looking inside Vision's eyes and just saying, you don't know what's out there. Like he, he thinks, he's like, Wanda, this is wrong. This is wrong. And she's like, you don't know. If you knew what lies beyond the boundaries of Westview, you would you would be okay with what I have here for you. And so I feel for that, man. Like I just, I resonate with that. I just, I think about maybe if you've lost a loved one or, you know, lost a, a pet or anything like that, like, you know loss. If you know loss, then you can envision like what your life would be with that person i've experienced loss of loved ones in my life and and i just can imagine that if i had these capabilities and these powers that i could bring them in some form even in a manufactured way would keep them there and just like to have a space where you could always visit it's almost like the movie onward like like where they're trying to get their dad back and he's like it's only his lower half it's kind of a strange concept but oh my gosh that movie wrecked me onward is so good chris brad i love you one of my lights just went out, so blessed. But anyways, y'all, I just wanted to chat really quick about WandaVision. It's probably longer than it needed to be, but if you're liking the show, like the show, the WandaVision show, or Pete Perspective, I hope you're liking both. But uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know what episode you like the most. Let me know what your favorite part is, and we can keep the conversation going about it. I'm excited to watch the new episode, not as in the one that just happened, but the one for next week, because I think it's gonna show us a lot more. But anyways, it is good to see you guys. It's good to get in front of you guys. And always remember, your perspective matters, my perspective matters, and if you are having a rough day, just sit in that, rest in that. You're worth it, you are worthy, and you have something to offer. So, I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.